everyone, it's Laura Nelvin with Add a Pup Dog and Puppy Training. I wanted to talk about Patty Bells. Nina wants to talk about them too. I get this, asked this a lot. Uh, Patty Bells, whoa, Patty Bells are pretty popular. They can be pretty useful. And the way I like to teach it requires a little bit of explanation. So it was about time I made a video on it. Here's my video on it. Some dogs, you can just put the bells up and their people indicate to them that they want them to ring the bells and then they go outside and then the dog figures it out. Dogs are brilliant. That's fantastic. If your dog figured it out, cool. If not, do it this way. <laughs> I would recommend doing it this way uh, just to make sure you've got the actual foundations and the actual decisions and the actual behaviors that we really want. Um, if it works for you, it works for you. It's not a big deal. Let me get the bells back. So we're going to start by teaching the dog nose targeting. Once they know how to nose target their <laughs> onto our hand, we're going to ask them to nose target onto the bells, onto an object. And then we pair nose targeting with the bells with going outside. And then we pay nose targeting with the bells with going outside. Until you get to that last step, you're not gonna hang up your bells. They're gonna be put away somewhere near the door, but they're not gonna be out all the time. If we put them out all the time before the dog really understands what they're doing and what they're getting paid for, then you run the risk of making a behavior go extinct by not paying it. And if they don't have enough of a reinforcement history with that behavior, then it's gonna go extinct quickly. So if the bells are up and they jingle it and no one's home, or they jingle it and you don't hear them, then they're like, this doesn't work, I'm not gonna keep doing it, it's dumb. It only worked once and it didn't work three times, I'm not gonna keep doing it. So we wanna make sure we've got a big strong behavior, they understand exactly what they're doing and exactly what they're getting paid for, and then we make it look more and more like real life. So, we're gonna start with nose targeting. Nina already knows this, I have a smelly hand and a treat hand, both go behind my back. I'm gonna hold out my smelly hand, and as soon as she touches it with her nose, I'm gonna say, yes. That's my marker. It's just like a clicker, but I don't have to use a clicker. I only have two hands, and I don't want to click right in her face because that can be scary. So I'm going to say, yes, she gets paid with a treat. Once we've got that, we're going to apply it to the object. You ready, miss? Put it over here. Yes. Oops, you got it. Yes. So a beginner dog, I'd start up right, I'd start up close like this. Yes, good job. Before I start moving it away. Yes. It's not worth it to a beginner dog to run all the way across the room, yes, to nose target your hand, yes. Yeah, I don't need to do this for bells, but yes, good girl, just trying to get the bells for me. So then we put it on cue, nose, yes, nose, yes, good girl. Now we're gonna add the object. I'm not gonna hold it out like that just yet. Eden's done this a couple times, so she'll probably do it, but a beginner dog, who's only learned to target hands, would likely go through her hand and not the bell. So we're gonna use that to our advantage. Sit. Thank you. I'm gonna put the bells in my hand. She's going for my hand and incidentally also targeting the bells. Nose. Yes. Nose. Yes. Nose. Yes. Now I'm gonna move it down. Go find it. Nose. Yes, good girl. So if she targeted my hand and not the bells, nose, yes. Like she did there, that was a bad mark. And then I'm not gonna mark it. Nose, yes. She has to touch the bells now. Nose, yes. <laughs> All right, now once we've got that, I'm gonna add a different cue. I don't want her to get confused between nose on the hand and nose on the bells, so I'm gonna call this jingle. Jingle, yes. Jingle, yes. Jingle, yes. All right, so your dog can reliably jingle bells on cue. I'm not gonna hang it up on the door yet. I'm gonna store it near the door with a stash of treats. Whenever we go out to potty, that's not an emergency, obviously. I'm gonna pull up the bells, ask her to jingle, pay her with a treat, and then we're gonna go outside. So I'll show you what that looks like. Ready, babe? So it's potty time, you take out the bells. So you bring it out, you're cueing them to do it, and they get paid with a deposit for jingling the bells on cue. 
Now, instead of paying her with a goodie, I'm gonna pay her with going outside. So she's learning that I do this and I go outside. That's how this behavior functions. You ready? Still, they're hidden until I hit them. So I take them out. Keep going. Yes. cue your dog when you go up to it. In those in-between times when you're not cueing them, keep an ear out to see if you hear those jingles from your dog on their own. This is when that magic's going to happen and they're going to go, I know how this works. Jingle, jingle, jingle. And then my servants will come let me out. If you're sort of stagnating, if it's up there and your dog still needs the cue for a week or so, Step back, hide the bells again, practice at that level before bringing them back out. Uh, we want the dog to figure out, it's kind of a complicated concept. Most of the cues that we have are, the human makes this sound, you perform this action and you get paid. We want the dog to go, I need something, so I will do something to get them to do something so that I get what I want. That's a lot of extra steps. Um, and they're fully capable of figuring out because they're brilliant, but it's a little different than other cues, so we need to give them some time to figure that out, which is again why I wanna have all these intermediary steps to make sure they really know what they're doing. So that's how you do potty bells. Once they've got that, it's up, they ring the servant bell and you come and help them out. That's all it is. We've got a lot of stuff coming up. October 27th is the next games night. It's Halloween themed. We're gonna have bobbing for hot dogs and I was gonna do musical tricks, but I think I'm gonna do a, a candy corn loose leash walking egg and spoon race, which is a lot of words. <laughs> it's not that complicated. It's like an egg and spoon race, but you have to hold the leash in your hands. So if your dog's pulling, it's more difficult. We're gonna do it with candy corn because it's safe. Um, September 20, I'm sorry, September 17th is when Give Me Some Slack is going to start. That's a loose leash walking class. It's open to all experience levels. As long as your dog is not fearful or reactive towards other dogs or strangers, come on out. They do have to have their rabies vaccine, so little bitty puppies uh, aren't old enough yet. <laughs> We're going to be out in public going to parks and things, so I can't guarantee the vaccination status of all the other dogs, like I can in the training center. So 12 weeks and up, or 16 weeks, whenever they get their shot, their rabies shot. Um, oh, we added a couple new, well, there are new days for classes. So beginner good manners only runs from January to October, because November and December is just crazy time. It doesn't work with anyone's schedule. It would just be insane. Uh, so the last beginner good manners classes are in October. Our adult Wednesday night class in October has already filled up. So we opened a Monday night class in October, starting on the 2nd, and a Tuesday afternoon class in October, starting on the 3rd. We still have puppy open for Wednesday evening on the 4th. Uh, we've got a couple in the Monday evening. No one's in the afternoon yet, but they're all limited to five dogs. Grab your spot. <laughs> Uh, we wanted to offer daytime classes for people who work third shift or stay-at-home moms or dads or stay-at-home dog moms. <laughs> My dream job. <laughs> uh, everyone's got different schedules, so we wanted to offer it. It's all on the website. I have a post on the Facebook page as well. Let me know if you have any questions. Registration's already open. Um, take care. Let me know if you have any requests. Bye-bye.